Judy, there's a lot at stake for the migrants, with Chicago bearing the responsibility for providing shelter. The county covers health care, and the state provides the wraparound services and relocation. But there's much more at stake for the mayor, with the question about will the city commit to paying for care? The warmer temperatures and sunny skies providing a welcome respite for migrants hanging out outside this shelter in Pilsen. But the future may not look so sunny after Mayor Brandon Johnson backed out of a commitment with the county and state for the city to contribute $71 million to care for migrants through the end of this year. I think that Mayor Brandon Johnson seems to want to hold a moral high ground that he is absolutely entitled to, given all that Chicago has done for this population. But we need to continue to see his actions and money match that sentiment. Last week, Mayor Johnson refused to commit to new funding for migrants, despite the state and county pledging a combined $250 million. Today, after an unrelated news conference, Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle careful not to criticize her protege. Are you disappointed that the mayor agreed to the city's portion of the funding and then backed out? As I said, you know, I've, I've worked with the governor and the mayor to try to meet the challenges of the new arrivals since August of 2022, and I'll continue to do that. Political observers called Johnson's decision a strange move, given that he calls himself a collaborator. Clearly, he's been under a lot of pressure from the black community, particularly from the black members of the city council, for months about the distribution of resources to black communities. And perhaps he felt as though if he made this kind of a commitment to migrants, that it would there would be a lot of backlash. No one in the state of Illinois in this country is questioning Mayor Brandon Johnson's commitment to this mission. But now, some are. I really want to believe that there is nobody more committed to this mission than Mayor Brandon Johnson, but of course, the money is really where that rubber hits the road. Mayor Johnson seems to be holding out hope that the federal government will come through with additional funding, but political observers say that's not very likely given the political gridlock in Washington. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.